In this video, we are going to be using counters to add and subtract integers. Now, my red counter is negative one, and my green counters are positive one. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's say that I had the problem three minus four. In other words, three take away four, and I need to know what that equals. Well, first what I'm going to do is I am going to take three positives. In other words, three greens, because the greens are each worth a positive one. So there's one, two, three. Now the problem's telling me to take away four and what this means is take away four positives. But I don't have four positives, I have three. In order to have four positives means I need one more positive. But I can't just add a positive because that would be incorrect. So what I can do is I can add a positive and add a negative because these two actually equal zero. So it's as if they're, they're not even there. So now, looking at this problem, I can see that I can take away four because I have four positives. So if I take away these four, my answer is negative one. Therefore, three minus four is equal to negative one. All right, let's look at another problem. Now let's look at a problem where I have a negative and I want to subtract another negative. So this problem is stating negative three minus negative five. Okay, so I am going to start by looking at my first integer. My first integer is negative three. So I am going to take three counters that are negative. Now the problem's telling me to subtract negative five. So I need to get rid of five negatives. I don't have five negatives. I only have three negatives. So in order to get two more negatives, I can add two negatives. However, you need to be careful because remember, that means I also have to add two positives because technically these cancel and I'm still left with the negative three that I had. Okay, so if you add an, any negatives, also make sure that you are adding positives with them. Okay, now I have negative five so I can get rid of negative five. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and my answer is positive two because I have two green counters. One plus one will give me two. All right, let's look at another problem. Let's say I had the problem negative three, minus seven. And we need to find out what that equals. Okay, again, I'm gonna start with my first integer. My first integer is negative three. That means I need three negative counters. And I need to subtract seven. Again, this is the same thing as saying take away seven positives, but I don't even have any positives whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add seven positives, but I need to be careful because if I'm adding seven positives, I also need to add seven negatives. So here's my seven positives. Here's my seven negatives. Okay, now I have added everything that I needed to. 
And now I can take away seven positives, okay? So here's my seven positives. I'm gonna take these away. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I look at what I'm left with. I'm left with all negative, so that tells me my answer is gonna be negative. And I'm gonna count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Therefore, I am left with negative ten. All right, let's look at one more problem. Okay, now let's look at the problem negative four minus negative four. And let's see what that equals. Okay, so what I'm going to do again is start with my first integer. My first integer is negative four. So I'm gonna bring over four negatives. And I need to take away four negatives. Well, that's pretty easy because I have four negatives so I can take away negative four. So that's one, two, three, four. That tells me that my answer is zero. All right, I hope you liked my video. Please make sure to subscribe to me and click that bell for notifications. I will see you next time. Bye.